All right. Is, all right, boys and girls. They ironically use the S tier. The, the, okay, first of all, yeah, they're using S tier. They're not using it the same way. There's descriptors here, so we can talk about this. Number one with a fucking bullet. What are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Are you for real? <laughs> Void rig is only allowed in like two entire pieces of content in this game. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> is this like a participation trophy? Because it's like versus what is the uh, what is the other one called? Bone Widow. It, it's because it's versus Bone Widow. We'll see Bone Widow lower down for sure. This has got to be like just kind of attached in. It's like, well, this is the Warframe tier list, but we had to put the Void Rig somewhere. So it's S by default because we're comparing it to a sack of shit. Like that's got, that has to be, that has to be how we got here. The rest of these, I get it. The rest of these, I actually have no problem with this. It's nonsense that Revenant's not here. But the rest of these, I get it. I understand. Over frame rant on YouTube. XC, please. That's fair. I'll probably upload it. But yeah, like the rest of these, totally fine. I get it. The rest of this S tier, understood. Ace is amazing. Octavia is like only not played enough to get an S tier for like the last three years running. Uh, Saren, especially with the new shit, is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and Wisp is he like is arguable. We have purposely trained him wrong as a joke. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, and then A tier, Korra belongs here, Clairvo, very fair. Degath, this is probably a little hyperbolic, but there's no, like, A minus tier, so, like, okay. Revenant's too low. Volt, this makes sense. I'm, I'm okay with this, depending on, like, what your criteria is. Um, like, especially this, like, very good, strong in most situations, or very, very good, very strong, good in most situations. But Volt qualifies for that. Citrine also, good. Goss, good. Wukong definitely qualifies for that. Nova's great. Mirage, especially new Mirage with Kaleidoscope is nuts. Tortilla belongs here. Nidus is like a reasonable pick here, though he's like, he's slow, but he's not bad. Uh, Baru Kenzaku, they belong here. Nesh is good. Gara, yeah, there's no, there's no plus and minus tier, so sure. Varuna's too high. Varuna's too high. Too high for Varuna. Varuna is too clunky and has too few uses to be in A tier. Unfortunately, I would love for this to be true, but it certainly is not. Uh, Rhino also is, like, reasonable here. Like, Rhino is both, like, okay. So, Rhino is Diet Neja, and Neja is Diet Revenant, which is the reason why Revenant should be an S. And, like, with the way that this is structured, you could put Neja and Rhino in an A tier that doesn't have divisions. I'm okay with that. Harrow is, like, reasonable here. Necros, like, for the reason of loot, is reasonable here. Styanax, reasonable. Titania, arguably should be higher. Um... Trinity is... Why is Trinity in this tier? Are we sure? Are we sure? Hey, some guy seven years ago put her there. Yeah, probably. That's probably fair. Uh, and then we've got Equinox, which this is way too high. Way too high. This is... Yeah, no, talk about seven fucking years ago. Uh-uh. Corvex does not belong here. Nope. Sevagoth also does not belong here. Gyre... Mmm. 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 Probably not. Like, I could maybe squeak her in for an A minus on my list if I, like, really tried to justify it and, like, lied to myself just a little bit. But, like, she probably doesn't belong in A. Also, who the fuck let him in? Who who walked Vaubon in? Mm. Vaubon, did you come in with Revenant? Mm. He must have been standing behind that motherfucker. Who the fuck let Vaubon into A tier? You do not belong here. You are one of the worst Warframes in this video game. Why are you here? <laughs> like, Jesus, no. Mag belongs a tier below this. Mag's, like, good, but she had, like, you're, you're comparing her to, like, Gara. Like, let's, let's, let's take, like, a Warframe that's, like, clearly an A, like Gara. You compare Gara and Mag, and there's no debate that Mag belongs in B tier. Um, Ivara, like, Ivara probably belongs at the top of B tier, but, like, it'd be hard to justify her in A tier compared to a lot of the other ones that are in here. Lavos, I don't know who let you in. He must have fucking been in Vaubon's coat. Like, mm-mm, no. 
Definitely not. No thank you. Lavos and your clunky ass cooldowns and your low ass damage, please leave. Uh, and then Ember, Ember is like, you, she's she's another one that's like on the edge. You could like argue her for like A minus B plus. There's like a little bit of like, it's a little shaky. It's a little shaky. You could you could do it. It's reasonable ish. Um, but eh. And then Chroma doesn't belong here. Straight up, this is a five years ago take. Why is Chroma here? Chroma, not only one of the worst designed Warframes ever released, but also, also has been power creep out of anything that's not Profit Taker for like ages ago. But yeah, this is like definitely, you should be lower for sure. Mag slept on, Mag not slept on. She just has downsides. Like she's, she's like good. She belongs in this tier. She belongs here. Garuda too low. Garuda too low. I just realized Garuda was not in A tier with all of the tools that she has received recently. Are you sure? Like she definitely should be in A tier. Like she's probably a bottom of A tier for me, but like she is not, she is not a B tier pick. And I don't know what the fuck Hildren is doing here. The Warframe that's totally invincible, strips all defenses off all enemies and makes them burn in hell. That's what we're doing with B tier. Lavos and Vaubon got in up here, but not Hildren. Like, what does she need? A day pass? What are we doing? Fucking ashes down here? Oh, yeah. The damage cap invisibility Warframe belongs in B. Okay. Okay. Like, whenever you're putting, like, Chroma up here and, like, Gyre and fucking Corvex, I don't know why Ash is down here. That's just absurd. Excalibur's in the right place. He's in the right place. Similar to Mag, he's got some limitations. B is good for him. Oberon, you're too high. Like, Oberon is out here day drinking. Like, he's just been here all day. Like, they must have been, like, open earlier. It must have been happy hour whenever Oberon showed up. Because, like, I don't know why. I don't know why Oberon's here. Oberon is one of the worst Warframes in the game. Also, Limbo? What? Are, how did... Fucking... Are they buddies? Are they just, have they just been day drinking since 9 a.m.? Like, get out. You need to go down to, like, is there a D tier? There's no one in D tier. You, you can just fucking do not pass go. Get out. Oh, here's Bone Widow. We figured out the reason why a Void Rig is in S. We figured it out. Because, obviously, a Void Rig has to be min-spec two tiers above Bone Widow. Min-spec. And now we get it. We figured it out. We now, we now understand. We have clarity on the situation. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Valkyr, this is like, you could argue that she's in B rank. Zephyr should be in A rank. I don't get it. Zephyr is like the most criminally underplayed Warframe in this video game. And like that continues to be the case year over year. And I don't get it. Like a Warframe that is almost always in total safety and able to just kill and crowd control anything that has ever existed. Super wild. Uh, Frost... Arguably, like, given what else is up here, Frost should also be up here. For, like, what for what their takes are, this doesn't make any sense. Because, like, I would consider Frost to be, like, better than Varuna. Like, Frost is better than Varuna. I would say Frost is better than Mag. Frost is better than Lavos. So, like, given what was allowed to fucking pass go into here, like, Frost should not be down here. Banshee should be lower. Banshee should be lower. Like, her and Limbo should just be dating in D tier. Like, mm -mm, we're not doing that. Inaros is, like, fine here. Loki also is, like, fine here. Like, a lot of health and invisibility. Sometimes it just be like that. Uh, Atlas punch real good, but, like, this is probably, like, the right place for him. He pretty much only is, like, a press one simulator. And, like, that does good damage, but it's super annoying. Uh, Caliban, I don't know how you got in here. You need to be lower stat. Post haste, you need to be lower than this. Uh, also, Grendel, super confusing that Grendel's here. Um, because uh, this, you know what? Actually, Grendel and Hydroid, this has got to be like price memory. Like we remember Grendel and Hydroid before their reworks, and like that has to be what this is about, right? Because like new Hydroid is like objectively A tier, and I would say like new Grendel also should be an A tier for sure. They didn't reset the votes. Yeah, that's got to be what's up here. Yeah, because these two should not be down here. This is, yeah, this has just got to be old-ass shit. Like, people who don't know, people who know, like, 
got to be what's up. And then in C tier, this is just like, this is just wrong. Like Nyx isn't a C tier Warframe. She belongs in B tier. And Yureli also probably belongs in B tier. And she's one of the better B tier Warframes, I would say. Like this down here, we need to get Limbo. We need to get Banshee. Like we got to get like some of these, like we got to get yeah, Limbo, Banshee, Oberon, and Caliban. And then like, there's got to be at least one more. They got to all get down to D tier. Like, we need to fill out the bottom part of this roster. There's a bunch of shitty Warframes that are hanging out in B tier for no reason. That's crazy. Yeah, this is wild. This is a wild ass list for no reason. Now, now click the, the votes, votes tab. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, this is an interesting mess to look at. Oh, Corvex just had almost no votes in general. <laughs> Where's Voidrig even at here? Is this alphabetical? No. Voidrig's in here somewhere. There he is. Oh, yeah. No, this is just weird. You're at least 49% D. That's crazy. Yeah, this has just got to be old. This one's this one's weird. Yeah, Hydroid and Grendel just got to be old takes. Yureli, like, did everyone vote at launch? Like, were these votes from right when Yureli launched? Oh yeah, helmet abilities. Okay, sure. Yeah, all right. Okay, I respect this. This is respectable. Respectable, obviously. Reasonable enough. Nourish Nourish has got to be price memoried on this one. This has got to be like before Grendel rework. We're just going to, for the sake of my sanity, we're just going to like assume there's a price memory on Nourish. And then like Pillage is great. Breach Church is great. Ensnare is a good choice. Larva is good. Wrathful Advance is very good. Theros. Nourish is, oh, Nourish is an A. Okay, this is like probably moving on up, right? There's probably, there's some time here. It'll get here. It'll get to S tier. It'll get there. Okay, Warcry should not be an A tier. We th we thought very early that Warcry was going to be a competitive one. It's not, actually. Like, it's just that, like, Valkyr's not particularly great. Uh, and it's, like, her second best ability. And that's, like, kind of why we thought that. But, like, this shouldn't belong here. This should be down a rank for sure. Uh, Zada's Whisper has a bunch of bugs that put it here pretty easily. Thermal Sunder should be higher. For sure should be higher. Even in its nerfed state now. Silence here? What did at was been deleted. Are, the, are these votes present? Are, are, regardless of update. Yeah, yeah, regardless of update. Are these votes fucking weighted by Ash players? What does Banshee's silence do in this high? The singular Warframe that makes any decent use of silence is Ash. The actual one Warframe. Also, Lyketh's hunt is like not useful. I guess maybe for leveling, like just use ESO, like the same speed or faster. And then Elemental Ward, would it, even no one uses this anymore. Even Hildren stopped using this. Yeah, Rest and, Rest and Rage is fair. Rest and Rage has like a lot of different uses. Like this is leveling and also hunting and like a bunch of different things. So like Rest and Rage is like actually like kind of reasonable. Like his hunt should not be here. B tier, weird sides. Condemn, I, you know what? I actually think Condemn's low here. People underrate Condemn as a subsume. I think it's actually very good. I think it is a competitive choice. Like, especially if Like It's Hunt is getting up in here. Condemn is Condemn is quite good. Uh, shooting Gallery, sure. Resonator, this is actually probably low for Resonator. Defy, this is high for. Shit is useless. Coil Horizon, this is probably right. Null Star, probably right. Although there is, like, you know, there's the Augment stuff for Null Star. You could argue that this should be A tier. There's an argument. I, I wouldn't, but, like, you could. This should be lower. Useless-ass Caliban ability. Ember's Fire Blast, yeah, it's probably okay. It's B tier. Quiver... Yeah, not a lot of uses. Probably, probably fine here. Uh, we, I see we have the Copamatic machine here, but it's like fine at B tier. I think Spectre Rage is mega copium on any build. 
Um, Smite is probably fine here. Blood Altar is like... Is this just the mag players? Is it just the mag players that are doing this? This has got to be that. Like, I can't see any use for this except for the mag interaction with this ability. Uh, Radial Blind, sure. Shuriken, sure. Spellbind, it's status immunity. Okay, Firewalker for the same reason. Terrify, actually, I think this is accurately... This is accurate for Terrify. A lot of people believe that Terrify is like this fucking insane S tier fucking skill, but the only Warframe that can actually make decent use of it on a build you'd actually want to use is Gara. She's the only one. So like definitely B tier is right for this. Reeve at B tier? Somebody tell me what the bug is that I don't remember that makes Reeve a B tier option. There's gotta be a bug or something. Is it just that it does percentage damage and it's useful for like some weird shit? You didn't hate it on Corvex? Yeah, on Corvex it's not great though. It's like okay. And it's it's more so like on Corvex for not being like, you know, he needs he needs some buffs. Didn't Reeve get buffed to be better mobility? I mean, sure. It's okay. They can do the viral weirdness with it, I guess. Yeah, I guess for the percentage damage shenaniganery, I guess so. Lull, this is like too slow of an ability to be here. This probably should be down one. Aqua Blades, okay, so this definitely shouldn't be here. This should be in C tier, but it is funny. Uh, Molt, people like to go fast, so I'll give them this one. Pull, I wish was not nerfed. If Pull wasn't nerfed in Helminth, it would be a higher tier, but unfortunately it is. Petrify, sure, like fine. Shock with its augment, fine. This shouldn't be here. Once again, what the fuck? Man, people like what is what in what in the goddamn Redditors is going on with Valbon? Like, why do people think this Warframe is still good? Like, is it just all the people that quit playing Warframe seven years ago or like gotta be Valbon? He's good boy, train, choo choo. Like, what is this? What the fuck is happening? People like playing the engineer. Protea exists. Like they did that. They they did the Vaubon rework and made it good. Her name is Protea. But yeah, people mega coping on this horrible ability should be lower. Where's Wisp? I think Wisp was way up high, right? But where is Wisp? Oh no, there she is. It's just her prime model. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's up a day. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then Well of Life, yeah, this belongs here. Airburst. Once again, no one fucking respects Zephyr. No one has any fucking respect for Zephyr. This should probably, it's not going to be an A tier, but it should be an at least B tier. Are you kidding me? Fucking Tesla Nervos are in B tier and Airburst is in C? What is this? What are we doing? Why? Vile Rush, sure, this is like fine. Desiccation, also fine here. Mind Control could arguably be lower. Um, Banish could arguably be lower. <laughs> Tempest Barrage, this is probably price. Well, we're gonna say we're gonna say price memory on Tempest Barrage. Because Tempest Barrage is considerably better now. Probably not enough better to maybe even make it into B tier. But um sure. Why is Ice Wave here? You should make a new rank called Ice Wave for this ability. This ability does actively nothing. You should put this below Decoy. Like, Decoy's horrible. Don't get me wrong. But, like, Ice Wave actively doesn't do anything. This is straight up nothing. Like, this ability has a long cast time, even. Like, at least Decoy is quick. Like, you spend your energy and you shit out a useless ability. But at least then it's over. Like, fucking Ice Wave, Frost is, like, doing fucking calisthenics, and it's like, oh, 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 slap the ground. Like, he fucking takes forever to do this awful ability. Fucking terrible. Yeah, this, this you know what? This tier list was more accurate than I expected it to be. But, man, there there's, like, certain Warframes that people are, like, forever, like, shooting copium into their veins. Just absolutely fucking shooting up that copium. Companions is apparently bad. Companions just got balance passed. So like I'm not even I'm not even gonna look at it. I'm not even gonna look at it. 
Yeah, what a what a mysterious tier list. What a absolutely mysterious tier list. Voted on by the community who haven't played this game in a while. Take a cursory glance at the weapons. All right, all right, all right. Real quick. <laughs> okay, possibly spooky spoilers is funny. This is reasonable. I'm, I'm, okay, we're just, we're just going to look at S tier. Reasonable enough. I'm okay with this. I don't hate it. That's fine. This is a reasonable take. Also totally reasonable. This one people voted on because it's funny. I'd make the argument that both Phantasmas could be S. <laughs> yeah, you could put both Phantasmas in S. Reasonable. Yeah, also also fine. What's melee weapons? Uh, What the fuck? Why is the door claw up here? What the hell? What is this seven, vote, seven votes ass shit? This is fine. This is okay. Arcwing? Why is there so much stuff in S? Way too much stuff is in S. Nobody voted on this shit. The Zorus where? That's a great point. Where is the Zorus? It's an A. Okay. People don't know what the heavy attack button does, and that's okay. All right. You know, th th these tier lists, not as bad as they could have been, but man, some things on them are like, what do you mean by this? What did, What were you thinking when you voted this way? Like, the trend continues. For whatever reason, people fucking love Vauban for nothing. Companion ones I know are going to be inaccurate. I know. I understand. They, ju they just balance past that. We're not even going to bother. But yeah, the man. Is, nothing is more conducive to the people don't get it that we see in both of the yearly stats and also this than people think Vauban is good and he just sucks and people don't know how good Zephyr is. The trend continues on forever. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. And, of course, as usual, thanks very much to the patrons for supporting the channel, uh, especially the $10 patrons, Alex Barnum, Andrew, Angel SBM, Arbiter Daydream, Benuvin, uh, Blotomatic, Brandon Coggin, Brutus Salazar, Cano Lathra, uh, Dylan Dworski, Thrain, Afon, James Hartshorn, uh, GC4 Science, John Lobdell, Joshua Adams, Luzant, Bigokel, Minty Ginja, Mitchta, Nerve, Remoxidate, Ruby, Sharp247, Camarillic Wastelander, The Coupon of Death, Homeworm, Victor Palmer, Wife of Wars, Vaudid, and Zerafir. Uh, and of course, thank you very much to all of the $5 and $2 patrons as well. It is much appreciated because I've been asked this a lot. Uh, I am doing the 2024 Warframe tier list, but I need to get last year's data from whenever DE releases that, which hopefully happens on the January dev stream. Uh, but that's what's holding that up because, you know, that kind of factors into Warframes getting S ranks or not. But yeah, that's, that's what's going on. Uh, and thanks. Thank you, everybody.